Hello man, what's going on? This is Craig James here. Just want to do a quick video about uh, something that a lot of guys tend to struggle with today. Um, as most of my videos are based on are, are things that guys can do right away to improve their lives. And one, one of those things is something that came to mind today as I was talking to one of my children. Um, I was uh, talking to my daughter. She was working through some homeschool um, stuff with my wife and she made a comment about how she would rather do something else. She didn't want to uh, do homeschool. She didn't want to work on her schooling. Um, just wasn't what she felt like doing at the moment. And I had a conversation with her about how you know we need to get used to doing things that we don't want to do. And it really made me realize um, some, some convictions that I had been kind of pushing away or, or hiding back or hiding from in my own life. Things that I was doing the exact same thing that she was doing. I was hiding from things that I knew I needed to do, I knew that were good for me, but I didn't want to do them. So I was choosing not to do them, or I was, uh, more accurately, I was choosing to spend my time doing other things that were easier. They were the low-hanging fruit, items that I was comfortable doing, things I could quickly crank out, uh, but things that weren't challenging me, things that weren't really integral for the growth that I want to see personally, for the growth that I want to see with Masculine by Design, for the impact that I want to have on the men uh, around me, the men who trust me, the men who support me, the men who uh, read and absorb what I'm putting out. Um, I was shying away from some of those things. And so I wanted to do this video to remind you guys of that same truth that you, you need to get comfortable doing the uncomfortable. And I know that I harp on that a lot. Um, but it's not just doing the uncomfortable. It's doing the things that need to be done because you've already committed to doing them. If there's something that you want to achieve in life, whether it be you want to build more muscle, you want to lose more fat, you want to gain a skill, you want to build an online business, you want to um, do whatever it is that, that you aspire toward, there are going to be things along that path that are going to take you from where you are to where you want to be that you just simply don't want to do. You aren't going to want to do them. You're not going to feel like doing them. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, is whether you feel like doing them or not is irrelevant. As a man, when you commit to doing something, you see it through. And once you've committed to wanting to achieve a goal, to wanting to actualize something in your life, you've already made the decision. You've made the decision that that's what you want. So whether you feel like doing something along the path um, that's taking you from where you are to where you want to go, uh, some task that needs to be done to get you there, is there, it's irrelevant. You've already made the decision, so you need to just buck up and do it. And, you know, this is the same conversation I have with my daughter, same thing that I need to remind myself of, uh, because guys, we, we tend to see this low hanging fruit around us and we get really busy, right? We're, we're busy doing things, um, but it's usually taking care of business, uh, items that aren't that impactful. They're things that we're already comfortable with. They're things that, um, we're used to doing things that were, that are easy for us that have taken us, taken us to where we are, but we shy away and we put off doing the things that are going to take us from where we are to where we want to go. So just want to remind you guys, just get used to embracing uncomfortable things, get used to, to, to doing the things that you don't want to do because they're going to take you from where you are to where you want to go. Um, you know, that, that's just how it is. And you talk to anybody who's uh, made a success of themselves, who's achieved a challenging goal, there were uh, an infinite number or countless number of things uh, that they had to do from where they started to where they are today uh, that they didn't want to do, that they would have rather not had to go through, they would have rather uh, delegated to somebody else to do for them, uh, but because they did them, that molded them, that shaped their character, that gave them a set of skills or an appreciation uh, that they needed to elevate themselves to that next level of existence, that next plane of actualizing their desires. So get used to doing the things that you don't want to do. Um, I've heard another uh, person, I can't remember who it was, but they phrase it this way. They say, go to the funeral. You know, nobody wants to go to funerals, right? But almost everybody who, who goes to a funeral, they, they walk away from that, I'm glad that they went. You know, that n nobody likes the idea of going to pay their last respects to somebody that they love or maybe somebody that they didn't really know that well, but they're going to support uh, the people who are in mourning over that person who has passed on. You know, no, nobody likes that idea. But nine times out of 10, when you go to a funeral, you leave there being glad that you went. Um, it's kind of that same principle. Go to the funeral, do the uncomfortable things, um, 
you're, you're not going to like it while it's happening. Just like when we train our bodies, we don't like that while it's happening, or most people don't. You know, the, the process of training, that um, rigorous effort that you have to put in, the, the pain that comes with working your body, you know, very few people enjoy that. Um, but what they enjoy is the results that they get afterwards, how they feel, how they look um, over time as they commit to doing that which is uncomfortable. And it's no different than any other aspect of life, guys. So that's it. Um, be, be uncomfortable, get used to doing things that are going to um, stretch you. Uh, when, when your mind and your, and your spirit is telling you that you really don't want to do something, most of the time that's the exact thing you need to be doing because that's what's going to stretch you. That's what's going to build you. That's what's going to actualize uh, the desire that, that you profess to have for yourself uh, in, in whatever regard that might be. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is Craig James from MasculineByDesign.com. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Masculine Design. You can also uh, join the closed Facebook group that I have for men. Uh, that's at Facebook.com slash groups slash Masculine by Design. Uh, just a closed group for men where we can come together and talk about struggles that guys have. Uh, there's a theme right now that is going on. Uh, we're talking through porn and masturbation, uh, things that guys uniquely struggle with and how we can overcome that and why we should want to. Uh, why, why it's important to do that. And that's just one topic. Uh, we talk about just about anything in there that's related to men. Um, I send out a weekly training plan so the guys who um, are in that group who want to follow what I'm doing uh, to train my body, they can do so. And it's just a great overall place. Uh, there's not enough uh, manly uh, spheres, manly places where guys can go to connect and congregate together and just share what they're struggling with and build each other up. So uh, I encourage you to join that. Again, it's at facebook.com slash groups slash masculine by design. Uh, it's a closed group, just request access, and uh, I do a little light filtering, but for the most part, any guy that wants in, I do let in. So thank you guys for watching. Until next time, this is Craig James from masculinebydesign.com. I'm out.